Hey everyone, and welcome to a very, very, very special Legends edition. Today we are using Dan Henderson in the middleweight division. Now, Dan Henderson retired last night. He retired yesterday after fighting Michael Bisbing in a fight that he did lose. Now, that was a very, very difficult fight for Michael Bisbing. If you guys watched that fight, Dan Henderson was able to drop him a couple times, more than a couple times, actually. He was able to drop him numerous times, got him rocked numerous times, hurt him numerous times with that right hand. After the fight, uh, Michael Bisbing looked like he was hit by a truck. Well, you know, Dan Henderson left the fight looking fairly fresh. Um, his last performance in the UFC is one that will be remembered. It, it really is going to, to, to be remembered, especially because of who he fought and when he fought him. You know, Dan Henderson fought Michael Bisbing. He, the man is like 49 years old. He, is the, he was the oldest active fighter in the UFC at that point. And the performance he was able to put on against a much younger opponent is something to be very proud of. So... Um, as you can see right there, we are facing Chris Weidman in the middleweight division. And uh, we're going to try to do our very best with Dan Henderson and try to get this win. Um, if I don't get this win, I am going to keep fighting with Dan Henderson until I get a win with him. I am not posting a video today with Dan Henderson without me getting a win. That's not going to happen. I don't care if I do eight fights today. So... Dan Henderson, ladies and gentlemen, I have actually done a video, a fight with him before in, in a featured fighters, not a featured fighters, in a fighter request, but I believe he deserves a Legends edition dedicated to him. So let's do this thing. Touch it up. Chris Weidman and already ripping us with combinations. It is a title fight. We are going to be very careful. Watch our stamina and make sure that we have enough conditioning. We're going to fight exactly like Dan Henderson does, like he did in that fight against Michael Bisbang. He, he kept his, you know, his conditioning up, moving, looking for that clean shot. That's exactly what we're going to do. And he avoids very quickly. Chris Weidman is throwing a lot of combinations. Leg kicks. It's hard to get away from him. It really is hard to get away from Weidman. Caught him with the overhand right. Goes for that body kick. Keep it slow. All right. Let him move and throw those combinations like he's throwing right now. Caught him with that one. He wants. He goes for a takedown. We're able to defend the takedown. We're gonna get to backside. Dan Henderson is a wrestler, pretty good grappler. Slam Chris Weidman to the ground. We're not able to get to backside right there. Okay. Not able to get to that side. I'm gonna stand back up. What he's doing right now is just sitting there waiting for me to transition. And these transitions are very, very slow. Body kick. Body kick. Body kick. He has wasted a lot of stamina trying to throw these combinations. We're going to keep our stamina high. That's how we're going to get him. Swaying back. Holding it. When he sways back and holds it like that, he wants us to come in, but we're not going to get impatient. We're not going to do that. That's not what Dan Henderson would do. He would watch his stamina, and he would just wait for the right time to unload that bomb. 
and that's exactly what, what we're gonna what we're gonna do against this player so I really I was very impressed with his timing in that fight against Michael Bisbing I really was he timed that right hand so well in that fight he would pick off the jab, come over the top with the right hand, and he wasn't just throwing the overhand. He wasn't just throwing that. He was throwing it down the middle, straight shot. He was also throwing a lot of uppercuts. I saw some uppercuts in that fight. He would lead with the left hook and try to come over the top with the right hand. I saw him fake a few takedowns and try to come over the top with the right hand. So he was trying to be tricky in there against Michael Bisbang. But Bisbing always has a way of making fighters hesitate. He has this feint that he likes to do, the way he moves his head, the way he moves his feet. It's not it's not that difficult. He doesn't want to touch gloves anymore. Understood. We got him down to the ground. Let's try to work our grappling a little bit. If I can end up yeah posturing or ed doing anything against wide men on the ground is not that easy let's get to side control right there i'm gonna stand back up i want to be in this corner all right the stamina is pretty low he's waiting for me to come in Time for me to start putting some punches to this guy. He is going after it here. You're gonna start throwing a lot of a lot of kicks. He went for the takedown. We're able to defend the takedown. We're gonna stand right back up. And again he gets back on his feet. We just got out of the way there. Okay. Every time he sways back like that, we're going to keep ripping him. Goes for the head kick. Goes for the head kick one more time. Swaying back and holding it. Going to throw a head kick again. That's his combo. He's hurt. Get on top. It's over. Beautiful. We knocked out Chris Weidman. We got him out of there. We stayed patient. We pushed forward and we got him out of there. I'm going to get one more fight with Dan Henderson. I absolutely have to. I just have to do it. And I'm going to be using Dan Henderson a lot as well. He has power. He really does. If you guys have not used Dan, you should. The man is a powerhouse in the game. And as long as you can put those punches in there, as long as you can find the opening to land those shots, man, he has power. All right. I'll be right back with you guys very shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are right back. We're facing Luke Rockhold in the middleweight division. It's always either Chris Weidman or Luke Rockhold. That's the way it goes. I am. This is a mismatch in every way, shape, or form. But you better believe I am going down swinging against Luke Rockhold. You better believe it. Body kick. Just hang back a little bit. Let's see what he wants to do. It is a title fight. He goes for the leg kick. Body kick. Circle away from the cage. Goes for the body kick. Head kick. Almost caught him with that. He's hurt. Back him up. He's hurt again. He goes for the body kick. Head kick. Body kick. 
Body kick. Let's keep going like that. Going for the head kick. Body kick. Careful with the body kicks. We have to be very careful with them. He goes for the head kick right there. I need to read that head kick better. I need to read that head kick better. I know the animation for it, but it's, it's you know, it's hard to read. I saw that one coming. Let him, just let him keep swinging. We already drew blood. Ugh, why is it lagging right now, man? God damn. Yeah, I'm about a second delay right now. I need to try to just hang back and wait for the lag to clear up. That's what I need to do right now. Body kick. He's going to sway. We're going to keep catching this dude. Caught him with that one. Leg kick. Keep catching him. Head kick. Caught him with the body shot. Keep catching him with that. Leg kick. We able to defend against that one. Uh huh. All right, this round is over. Beautiful. I think we did well. We definitely did well with the striking. Bam! We rocked them with that one. All right, round number two. We are back. Those head kicks, man. Leg kick. Leg kick. Head kick, leg kick, it'll be very careful, oh my goodness. There's a lot of combinations he's throwing. Okay. He's hurt. Fight is over. Yeah, baby. Knock them out. Knock them out. Knock them out with the straight. Knock them out with the straight right. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, baby. That's Dan Henderson, man. 
That's Dan Henderson. The knockout power, baby. Bam! I just, I knew. Just keep, keep landing those shots. I mean, he was landing a lot of shots, man. It's, it's just like Henderson. You're hitting him with everything. Everything. You're hitting him with all you got. And he just finds that opening and drops you. Look at that. Fight is over. It was laggy and everything. Beautiful. So we defeated Chris Weidman with the straight right. We also defeated Luke Rockhold with the straight right. I'm very happy. Very, very happy with this performance. Very glad. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like if you did. Leave a massive thumbs up for Dan Henderson. He has done quite a lot for the sport of mixed martial arts. And I can't wait to see this man in the Hall of Fame. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will definitely be seeing you guys very shortly. And uh, as always, be safe. Have a wonderful day.